Hey everyone, it's me, Leo. Hope everyone's having a good day. And as always, I just want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for another day of life. Another day I get to be with my family, and just another day I get to, you know, enjoy life. It's been a, uh, it's been a journey for me and my family. It's been a long three years. Uh, uh, close to four years, let's put it that way. It's been long. Uh, I put my family through a lot. Um, you know, some of y'all know my, my faith towards the Lord, you know, it's strong, you know. Um, but I just want to read this verse to y'all, you know. And I want to get back on this and reading scriptures again, you know. And uh, just because for a reason, there's a reason for everything, you know. You know, crossing each other's path, each other's path yeah. coming into uh, someone's life, you know. Um, like I'm here for y'all, you know, and, uh, people, you know, people link up to help each other. And there's always a reason, you know, uh, I just want to share this verse quick. It's Romans chapter eight, 38 to, uh, 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the, uh, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus, that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You know, I'm never going to stop loving the Lord and trusting the Lord, especially, you know, after this, after this uh, past few years, you know, God will never, God will never stop loving us. You know, we're his children. You know, sometimes we we seem like what, when things are going wrong, that there is no God, or God doesn't love us. It's not true. You know, we're here. We're here alive on this earth, you know. It's not going to be perfect. We can't have heaven on earth, you know. And uh, and for the others, you know, like I, I constantly pray for y'all. And another thing too, God, you know, I just want to say this, the difference between God and the evil one, which doesn't compare. Say, for example, you're trying to get out of debt. And this is my experience. God's not going to pay you debt overnight. God's going to put you in a position where you can pay off your debt. You're going to work for it. It's going to take time. It's going to take failure. It's going to take patience. But in the meantime, you're building character. You appreciate you appreciating your time, your loved ones, your money, your job. Versus the evil one, I don't I don't give him credit. I don't say his name. I just say the evil one. And that's it. He'll pay he'll pay your debt overnight, but it's gonna cost you your soul. It's gonna cost you, like I say, your life. You know you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna face misery, but it's the easier way. It's the easy way out. You're not gonna build character. You're not gonna appreciate nothing. That's the difference between God and the evil one. But I just wanted to share this with y'all. You know, um, like I said, I'm always praying for y'all. Never give up hope. Stay strong, you know, and just, and just be wise about things. I love y'all. Y'all take care.